Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We got yolk and sites right here on the white road glide right in front of us. Let me tell you a story about what happened last night. Back in the road glide, I couldn't get away for too long. I really want you guys to see this real quick because this to me is just fascinating. Alright guys, so this is my bike for the day. We got the 2024 Harley Davidson Street Glide. I figured I'd choose a Street Glide because uh, we've just been spending a lot of time on the Road Glide and I wanted to kind of give this bike some love. I feel like it's not getting too much affection. Beautiful bike. Um, and I really like the whole infotainment system on here, the whole setup. Everything's right in front of you. Yeah, so today we're going to be taking a nice, beautiful ride out to Valley of Fire. Um, and then we're going to be riding around Lake Mead. That should be a, a, a nice, beautiful view. A lot of scenic areas today. We're going to just take a nice, chill ride. Take it all in. Um, I'm excited, man. I'm really excited. Tell me real quick what you guys think about the street glide right here. You feeling it? You not feeling it? Do you prefer the road glide? The street glide? Do you like this color? This is my the reason why I chose this bike. Because this is my favorite color right here. This is the shark skin blue for 2024. Absolutely beautiful. We got the uh, whiskey red right there. We have that blue burst. Um, and that's, I forgot the name of that silver color, but it's strategy really nice as well. Then we got that white onyx. One of my favorite parts about this bike is, uh, push out drawer. Throw your phone in there, close it back up. All right, and we're off to the races. Another dream come true. Out here riding in beautiful Nevada, Las Vegas. with a great group of people great group of friends I didn't uh, mention yet but the CEO was right ahead of us right here on the white road glide up ahead riding with us how amazing is it that a CEO of such a large company like this takes the time to enjoy something as cool as this with us I think it says a lot I think it says a lot about the company and about him and what the direction is, where they're trying to go right now. And if you uh, especially look at this group right here, we have we have people from all over the country, content creators from east to west, north to south, all shades, all colors, all sizes. But guess what? We're all here together because uh, the passion that we share for these motorcycles and this company itself, and also the content we put out. <laughs> Come on, I, I, I gotta, you know, I gotta give myself a little pat on the back. But this is really great. Um, the whole Harley Davidson team, just you know, huge thank you to the whole team for you know bringing us out here to experience and enjoy this beautiful ride today. I was really excited about this ride just to go and check out that national park. Just ride and seeing those red rocks around you. Look at the desert. Take it all in. I'll tell you one thing. This street glide is so easy to handle. I guess it's just the bar setup where it's at. Really comfortable position. Everything is right in front of you. It feels great at like slow maneuvers. Wow. Can we just take this all in? I just wanna, I just feel like pulling over and just, ah, it's just taking a full breath and look at all this beauty. Uh, so this is the entrance right here to the uh, national park. How beautiful is this? I just, it's just breathtaking. I remember when uh, one of the trips when I first came to, to Las Vegas and um, my wife and I, we started this trip, did the whole party thing, but then we took the trip out to uh, the Grand Canyon. It's like a two hour ride trip on a bus. And it was just so breathtaking, so beautiful. 
Like scenic views like this just make me feel like I'm so little, you know? Now let's talk a little bit about this bike right here. This is the 2024 Harley Davidson Street Life Standard. Um, so far, wow, look at that river. That's beautiful. Every time I want to talk about something, I look over, I'm like, oh, that's beautiful. Um, so far with comfort, it feels great. The seat, I gotta be honest, most of the time, you know, the stock seats, they're not that great, they're not that comfortable. But this one has like a nice little gel pad feel to it. And it feels really good. I feel like I'm in, I'm in place, I'm not moving around. Real cushiony. The bar setup, the ergonomics, real comfortable. As far as, you know, looking at my gauges and everything, my infotainment system right here, this is a 12.3 inch screen. Everything's right in your face. You're able to see everything. If I wanted to change the way this looks, I could uh, put it on like a, a sport mode type of look or touring mode type of look. Or if I just wanted to look at the navigation, I have the full screen for that. Um, so you're able to change that up. Suspension wise, feels a lot better guys so now we have that three inch travel on the rear shocks big big huge upgrade from the outgoing model we had a shorter travel and you kind of felt all those bumps and felt everything on the road this one kind of absorbs everything else and it's not bouncy either it's not sluggish it's like a a, a real good touring feel you could say so it feels great Comfort, ergonomics are great. You're gonna average around 44 miles to the gallon. The bike is a lot lighter from the outgoing model as well. And if you could look up ahead, you'll see how the rear of the motorcycles look. So all the road glides and the street glides are gonna have the same setup in the back when it comes to the fenders, lighting, bags, everything's the same. Only thing that's different between these bikes is just the fairing. The road glide is frame mounted. And then the Batwing I hear is fork mounted. That's the only difference between these two bikes. Now it handles great in the corners. There's something about a street glide where it's just, I don't know, it's maybe because of where the bars are at, but it just, it makes it so easy to just lean into the corners. It feels very light, very, very light. The grips are different for this year, by the way, and I really like them. It's not that uh, that smooth, plain old grip that they were adding on bikes before. This one has a nice grip to it. The grip has a nice grip. <laughs> yeah, they have these little teeth uh, indentations everywhere. They feel good. They feel comfortable. Controls out here, guys. You're going to have your on and off. Uh, dual signals on top if you want to control your music is it going to be on the right toggle right here your connectivity for your Bluetooth button on there as well and another beautiful view up ahead your right turn signal and then your mode button there as well so let's see if we're able to get out of this road mode right now and get in sport mode. So we got sport mode on here, road mode, and rain mode, which is awesome. Now the front suspension hasn't been changed, but it has been tuned differently to the bike for this model. So no, they didn't interchange anything out for the front suspension, but like I said, it is tuned differently. This bike is also gonna come with the brand new Milwaukee 8117 on it which is coming and packing a lot of power. I remember when I first tried the uh, 117, when we did the press launch for the Lowrider ST model, I was very impressed with the 117. Just the way that motor performs, really good, packing a ton of power. Now the controls on this side, you're gonna have your left turn signal, horn, your back button, your toggle right here for you to go maneuver throughout your screen trash your control button cruise controls on this side obviously this bike is going to have cruise control another thing that's different for these models now 
and it's a plus is that the uh, RDRS is now standard so before for example on my 21 I had to pay extra for the RDRS um, but now it comes standard on all bikes the whole rider enhancement system front and rear link brake that's pretty awesome and if you're wondering what that is it's just um, another electronic to help you brake evenly so if you're the type of person that just likes to use your rear brake all the time um, even if you're not pressing your front brake the motorcycle is going to do it for you it's going to even it out the led lighting is on this bike on the bat wing in the front looks really cool especially in the nighttime it just looks like a a, a lit up bird is coming up behind you if, if 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 i was to be riding behind you man really nice led rear lights as well which look really nice as well i honestly thought that for this year they were well going on forward that these rear lights were only going to be on the cvo models and the uh standard models are just going to get you know a different type of light setup but no so now all across the board you're going to have the same uh same lights in the back which is weird but cool i mean the, the lights look really nice but i would have liked to see maybe a different option of maybe uh you know a nice light on the fender in the back kind of flushed and smoked you know kind of like the as outgoing st models but more flatter i thought that would have looked pretty cool now let's talk about price real quick if you're wondering about price this bike is gonna come at 25 999 which is the starting price that could all change depending on the type of color you want how beautiful is this nice little windy road through the desert gorgeous to Red Rock uh, first stop we're making right here beautiful view look at those Red Rocks I wonder what that's name from <laughs> just just breathtaking so yeah we're gonna take a little uh, little stop right here and then we're gonna hit the really really nice beautiful roads um, so just tune in for that are you kidding me are you kidding me? This is beautiful. Wow. 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 This is gorgeous. This right here is what it's all about. Wow. really recommend anyone who's gonna be riding through the Nevada area to come and ride through the state park because every turn we take is jaw-dropping everything's so beautiful the color on those rocks with the blue sky behind it 
the road separating everything. It's just... <laughs> you can't just help but to smile. You know what? I gotta say, these two red, whiskey red blanks ahead of me kind of fit perfectly in this whole little area. Look at this. How cool is this? <laughs> you know, shifting gears through this bike feels so good and smooth. And out here, the weather today, it's, it's like the perfect temperature. It might be like 65 or so. Um, but these are liquid cool heads on here, which you're going to have. And I am feeling no heat from this motor at all. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What? How beautiful is this? Back to the bike, back to the bike. But every time I start talking about the bike, it's like I have this right in front of me, this to the left, this to the right, ahead. Wow, wow. <laughs> Just look up ahead. bumps right here a lot of bumps <laughs> but this rear suspension is taking everything in really nice so back to uh we're talking about the heat before yeah I, you literally feel no heat coming from these uh heads on this motor um liquid cold the coolant starts from the rear cylinder, which is the hottest cylinder, and it just keeps going to the front and circulating front to back, front to back, and that's how the, the top of the heads are able to stay cooler. Obviously for more comfort, not a performance-driven type of thing, but trust me, for those super hot days when you're gonna be out there in that 90 degree weather, uh, 90 plus, uh, it makes a huge difference. Um, I rode the bike, the 23 models last year in Milwaukee and that was like 95 degree weather and you really felt no heat coming from that motor at all. We're gonna be having lunch right here. How awesome is this? We're gonna be having lunch here. Yes, here. Well guys, we pretty much wrapped everything up here with lunch. Lunch was amazing. Um, we're gonna get back on the bikes we're gonna be going to another little scenic view up the road right here for a nice overpass and then we're gonna uh, are we are we riding down to lake mead after that or yeah yeah then we're gonna go back out and uh back along lake mead awesome we're actually switching bikes right now so obviously we are now hopping on the road glide back in the road glide couldn't get away for too long um this is the billiard gray guys let me tell you the billiard gray on the baggers to me just looks even better than on the soft tail models um it's just more surface uh, you can see the color more one thing i just noticed as well which is pretty cool nothing awesome but whatever uh but the texture here in the orange you can really feel that look it feels really nice bike looks great and this is the only color you can get on a bike this year that they're not going to charge you any money for so standard color now which is the billiard gray on the baggers i approve Uh, look at this again it's like beautiful everywhere I 
I think me riding this uh, billiard gray bike today was meant to be. Billiard gray with a gray sweatshirt. On not such a gray day because we got blue skies, clear skies, baby. Rainbow Vista. This is the uh, scenic view, I think, right here. The high point area. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Again, it's... Wow. Look at this landscape. America, man. America. I'm telling you guys, that there's so many places in this country to visit. This country is so special in its own... We're not going to get political on here. We're just talking about landscape. Relax. Relax. Have a seat. This country just it has it all when it comes to landscapes. From deserts to rainy areas to ocean lines to big lakes to flat plains, beautiful mountains, Appalachians to the Rockies, coast to coast, north to south. It's and every uh, everywhere is so different. I've been getting into my feelings while I'm talking to you guys on here today. And it's just it's all coming out like so organically organic all right organic it's all coming out so organic and I, I don't know it's just looking out at this beautiful view everywhere it's just I, I, I can't even put it into words I really want you guys to see this real quick because this to me is just fascinating look at the colors on these rocks right here Nice tan color, yellowish, like a vanilla ice cream. <laughs> then look over here, red. And they both intertwine together. <laughs> wow, <laughs> what an amazing view. Look at this. You, you can literally see up in that cliff over there where both colors just intertwine together. How be like like it's a painting. This is a painting right here. How is that even possible? Are you kidding me? <sighs> wow. I really hope that you guys are taking this all in and, and, and you're able to at least enjoy it. At least half as much as I'm enjoying this right now. This is like my little favorite little passage right here. We're heading back. Uh, just, yeah. I could probably run up and down this road all day and I wouldn't get tired of it. We're going over all these grooves on the road right now. It's like bump, 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 bump. So much of it, but once again, the suspension right here, the rear suspension handles it pretty well. Kind of soaks everything in. And that uh, that three-inch travel definitely, definitely is an improvement. <laughs> Look at this. If anybody who is watching right now is from Nevada, let me know real quick. Have you been through here before? Because if you haven't and this is your home state, you need to make it out here. Now, going back from the street glide to the road glide, I know some of you guys are going to be asking, well, let us know. How, how does it feel? bouncing back and forth between both bikes which one do I prefer riding more um, I'm still gonna say that I prefer riding this a lot more and it's not because I own a road glide but when it comes to comfort when it comes to the bars this to me is much more fitting um, it just fits my type of riding style um, these bars are great and it's awesome that you're able to move them where you can either bring them closer to you or push them forward but the option is there and the fact that there is an option it's cool 
Um, but even right now, the way how I'm riding it, it feels really good. The fairing does a great job blocking all the wind. I mean, the, the street glide does a good job too, but I just feel like the road glide, for some reason, has better wind protection. Now, let's talk about the seat a little more because I've been riding on this seat all day. It's the same seat that's on the street glide. Um, and for a stock seat, it's pretty good. I, it's, it's not amazing. I'm not going to tell you, oh, it's great. No, it's, it's not great. Um, but it's definitely a big improvement from the stock seat on the Algoa models. Big, big, big time because those seats feel like, uh, like bricks. But this has a nice little kind of gel pad into it. A nice pocket where it kind of keeps you in place, locked in. I don't feel myself moving anywhere. And it's nice, man. It gives you a nice little support in the back exactly where you want it. And once again, we are coming across another beautiful view right here. I gotta tell you, this billiard gray with chrome looks really good. Either option you're gonna choose, whether it be in chrome or black, it's gonna look really good with this color right here. Really nice. Billiard gray on a road glide or street glide gets my approval. These new bikes are great, guys. Far, far superior over the uh, Algoa models. They're lighter, they're packing a lot more power. Comfort wise, it's better when it comes to the seat, when it comes to the rear shocks. Uh, the front suspension seems to be tuned differently, so it feels better. You got the 117, brand new design, LEDs all around. You have this beautiful 12 inch screen right in front of you. Um, the fact that you're able to adjust the bars, it's amazing. Um, it's lighter. The bike is sleeker, the new design is great. The chop bags look good, the fairings look good. It's it's a better bike all around. Matt Layla right here. I love this guy, man. Every time we meet up somewhere, it's 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 always laughs and you know, motorcycle talk. It's always a good time with this guy. And a lot of you guys might think, well, Matt's very serious all the time, man. This guy could be probably a stand-up comedian. A very good one. <laughs> this guy, he's hilarious. Very knowledgeable, very down to earth, very humble. Gets my uh, stamp of approval. And now up ahead we have more desert, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't have enough desert, well there's more. I'm a huge fan and I'm an advocate of the Milwaukee 8, man. Especially this 117. Such a smooth engine. It makes a ton of power. Is it quiet? Yes. Can you get it to sound like an absolute beast? Absolutely. Drop a cam in one of these bikes, a nice exhaust, that's it. You're done. We got yoke and sights right here on the white road glide right in front of us. Let me tell you a story about what happened last night. So we go have dinner. We walk into this Italian restaurant. The whole group is there. We walk in and we see Jay-Z right, well, yeah, we, we call joke insights jay-z just fyi <laughs> that's what they call him he's right there and we're like oh, oh wow i wow <laughs> we weren't expecting him to be here you look around the room and you can see the blood flow away from some people's faces some others jaws drop i for one was out of words i was like oh okay okay um we take a seat we're looking around there's an empty seat. There's a few empty seats, but particularly the seat next to me is open. Then comes over Tail with him. Tail is the head of marketing for the company. He has this huge smile on his face, and he's looking dead at me. And I'm looking back at him, and I'm like, dude. And he's like, you can just tell his eyes and his face. He's like, yes, you. And I'm like, dude, really? <laughs> And we, we, we kind of give each other that, that, that agreement, like, okay. So Yoke and Zeiss sits right next to me. And at this point, I'm like, what am I going to say to this guy? What am I going to talk about? Like, I, I don't know. Like, I just went blank. Dude, let me tell you. One of the most down-to-earth people I've ever met in my life. 
super calm, very relaxed, very open about everything. Um, you know, we, and we spoke about everything. We spoke about bikes. We spoke about uh, the wildlife conservations that he has uh, in Africa. We spoke about our kids. We spoke about planes. We spoke about sneakers. Uh, just a, a ton of stuff, and it was me, him, uh, Matt Lela was sitting right across from me. Uh, Ryan Urklark was there, and then James Spoli, and that—that that was our little kind of like a little, a little circle for the night because we're all sitting with each other, and we're all just, you know, just having conversation, regular conversation, like a group of friends, you know, and th th these aren't people that we're always around. We we don't know each other well enough just to talk about anything but we all felt so comfortable and it was great and it's you know what brought us here passion for bikes once again you know like you you, you meet the nicest people on motorcycles like it's great and I, I I walked out of there with you know with a smile on my face you know it's and, and, and it was awesome just to share some of my stories with with Jay-Z it was awesome to do that and you had a bunch of laughs it was a it was a great night and uh, it, it just it goes to show you here is the CEO of this conglomerate company one of the oldest companies in America one of the most known brands in the whole world and the CEO is sitting right next to me having dinner we're laughing and I, I think that says a lot about his character and where the company is going right now, you know, rather than being at a table with shareholders, he's here sharing this event with us, which he really doesn't have to, you know, if he, no, it's, he doesn't have to do that, but he came out and he did. And here he is in a group full of content creators and the people that run his company and it was amazing and just as we're going the sun's getting blocked off by the clouds you see everything kind of dimmed down I think we're coming to the end of the video now I gotta say I really have enjoyed today's ride and these roads through here are beautiful nice clean roads we had great laughs we had some food took great photos overall we made some great memories today I want to thank you guys first and foremost because if you guys didn't watch my stuff I wouldn't be here I wouldn't be sharing this amazing opportunity with you right now when I say I'm sharing it with you I'm sharing it through your TV screen your phone however wherever it is you're watching me anywhere in the world but thank you for taking the time out of your life to dedicate to me. Thank you for allowing me to show and share my uh, my journey with you. And this is why I'm here, sharing this with the Harley Davidson team out in beautiful Nevada. Thank you guys. <laughs>